What's going on guys? Jurassic here today. We're back to Detroit to become human. 9.34 p.m. Alright, so we are in a cart ride with Rose, Luther, and Alice. Oh, we can actually turn the radio on? I don't know if it's going to play a whole bunch of like music and stuff that we don't want to play though. So we're probably just going to skip past that. We might have to though, because we can't interact with anybody. I guess it's just a very quiet car ride. Oh, we can at least look out the window, though. Raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. So one thing we are going to have to watch out for is we don't necessarily have the means to cross to Canada, so I'm not sure what her plan is. All right, next channel. <laughs> With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Okay, so all we gotta do is help Alice out the car. Where exactly is she dropping us off at, way, though? There's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. So how does she know about Marcus? Like, I know obviously there's news coverage and stuff, but she specifically mentioned Marcus and Jericho. Which weren't necessarily a part of any of, like, the main news things that we've seen so far. So does she have a more connection to that kind of stuff than what we've been led on to? Because it seemed like she didn't have any androids in her house. Unless maybe the very first androids from Jericho are the ones that she used to own. Okay, so her choices have brought Connor over to Jericho as well. Now, I'm not entirely sure the path that we chosen for Connor, since it seems like he's by himself if we're going to basically be against everybody else that we're working for right now. That'd be kind of bad for us. Alright, well, the main gang is at Jericho. We got Marcus leading an entire rally. It's not exactly the safest place for... Ara and Alice, so we probably don't want to stay here too long. We still need to find a way to get with the rest of the humans. Connor is going to be tracking them down any moment, though. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially... Okay. We might have been wrong about this place. 
See now, if this is what we saw last time we were in Jericho, we might have chosen a totally different path. This looks like they can actually handle a little bit of military stuff and things with all their extra surplus. Before? I don't think that would have been anywhere near strong enough to be able to handle anything. Am I supposed to put you next to the fire? How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Alright, well, we'll leave you here. We'll go explore around some. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Kara. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Find the deviant leader. The time has come for us. Now, the one thing that's kind of interesting, did we get Hank arrested last episode? Obviously, he punched an FBI agent, which probably can't look too good on his career stats. So hopefully he's not actually going to be like punished and arrested because Connor is definitely out on himself already. To be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your Android. Under no circumstances should you try to yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. The androids won't do any harm. Okay, so we know where Alice is with Connor. I wonder if he's able to identify that she's the one that's missing. So we can't actually interact with anybody over in this corner, though. Alright, so we can't do anything over there. But it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. A new stage has been reached. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. The time has come for us to destroy our machines before they destroy us. Without the courage and the determination of the police, the machines would have reduced Detroit to a state of chaos. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. The androids weren't doing any harm. The cops just gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And then the police arrived, and well, they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they they look like just people, like people who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, 
but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Cromwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. A new stage has been reached, demonstrating beyond all doubt that these defective machines have become a real danger for American society. The time has come for us to destroy our machines before they destroy us. Without the courage and the some really cool world building that they do in this game. Alright, so let's see. We're supposed to be looking for Marcus, but we don't necessarily know where he's at. Covered with blue blood. Okay, well that's the wrong way. Doesn't look like anybody's crawling around over in that way, so we'll try over here like this back left corner. Looks like there's another model like Luther. So, I mean, they definitely have enough androids now. I don't know how skilled they are at using their guns, but they might be able to take an actual frontal attack. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Bond, no different secret. She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. I feel like the way Kara is would be the best to show Marcus that the cause of being peaceful is still an actual dream. So, I mean, it sounded like some of the humans were defending us in the news broadcast, which is exactly what we wanted in our peaceful approach. I don't know if it's enough yet. Alice. K five hundred. Come back here! Come back here! You mind? You knew from the beginning. You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom, and you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. <laughs> I mean, I kind of agree with that, but at the same time, her father was an alcoholic, so I don't think he was smart enough to pull the chip out. And also, I mean, the android has to be modeled after a person, so she still could be human. But my thing is, why... There's a lot of weird things that wouldn't go with that correctly if she was an android. Like, why would the news media say it was a kidnapping instead of an android on the loose? Kara, 
Is there something wrong? Nope, nothing wrong. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Aggressive, determined, righteous, or somber. The only thing we asked for was freedom. And they don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Angry, bitter, remorse, no regrets. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Confrontational dialogue, stay hiding. I mean, I still feel like dialogue. the peaceful approach has to be the best. The only way. We do have the guns, though. Alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Sure, we'll keep it. I feel like that's good in case we do need like a dead man switch. Especially since we chose to go and buy ourselves. But the thing is, I don't know if we're going to have a different story. I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Sure, we'll give her whatever. I'm not entirely sure how she ended up liking us, though. We literally chosen every path possible for us, for her to dislike us, except for crashing the car into the building, which is probably one of the coolest things that we've done so far. It was kind of weird. I guess it's because we picked up on her 
other android companion. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. So Connor did see her leave. That's interesting. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Reason to find a scourge threaten. You like reason? What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. That's a good argument. Intimidate instructions. Convince appeal? I know you. You're Mr. Connor, Deviant you? Hunter. That famous Deviant Hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Stay back, warning shot, enough! Say nothing. So doubts, question you undermined. Have you ever wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Rally, undermine or sell doubts. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Become a deviant or remain a machine. So just like the other deviants, we have to stop all of the markers inside of our mind to rip down all these different messages to tell us to stop Marcus. Now obviously Amanda sort of hated us this entire time. We're fully in the distrust category, but for some reason they continually send the Connor android knowing that he has some questionable things going on. Now it's kind of interesting to see the fact that they replaced him and still uploaded the original mind to him. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. What's going on, Cat? Quick, we've got to get out of here. We have enough ammunition to hold them back. The corridor over there. Follow me. All right, so we need to go over to the left. This way. Quick. Come on, Luther, run faster. So, I mean, it seems like we're relatively safe with Kara. I mean, I don't think Luther would let anybody actually hurt us. Come on, big guy, get in the front. Everywhere. 
anywhere in here though. So did they never even grab the guns and defend themselves or what happens? What the They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're going to be slaughtered. Message Simon and Joss helicopters blow up Jericho. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Where's the rest of them? Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. They're coming from the upper deal with the helicopter somehow. In the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Blow up Jericho, that is. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. All right, we got to do this. So not only that, we have to play this smart. Marcus can't sit there and be like, are you well noticeable? So we are going to have to stick mostly into like the shadows and stuff like that. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. What did they say in Thor? Jericho's a feeling, not a place. There we go. All right, so let's see. That's not good. Don't let it get out. Uh, you think you'd do any trouble at all? As for men, welcome. Water to leave him, but we're not leaving you, Luther. You Get up and run. Leave you. Tara, no. We don't have a choice. All right, so if we can at least throw you in the room next to us, sort of like Simon, he might actually have like a chance of survival. We're blowing this place up though, so that's going to be. Don't move. He might get lucky. You shouldn't have done that. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch him through the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. All right, well, he's no longer going to be able to lead us to the right direction. Looks like we need to hide. Promise Luther, there's no way we left him behind to sit here and get you kills. Is the coast clear already? Marcus is going to be like literally the most valuable android on this entire ship. So we're going to have to do decisions where some of like the background androids are going to unfortunately die. Come on. Get out of here Don't hurt us. We haven't done anything wrong. We can't intervene. Shut up. We'll lose a few androids this way, but this is going to be the only way to save the rest of our people and give us enough time to actually escape. Obviously, there's going to be a few that lose their lives, though. Out. Tango. Let's see. We got two different paths. So we can beat them up or we can jump up top. Let's just ignore them. Try to climb up top. Nice. All right. So let's see. Go down that way, so I'm not entirely sure what that was about. 
let's just come down the stairs. We should be able to find a way to save the rest of the people, hopefully. Alright, now, since he's one of the main androids, we are going to save him. Hopefully. See, as long as we get all the QTEs right, we shouldn't get too many people killed. Here we go. Quick, this way! Find north. I'll join you later. Alright, so we gotta run quick as we can. Play dead, run, surrender. Just play dead. I don't think we're fast enough to run away from them. They would definitely see us. Don't move. Don't look so obvious. Just don't move. We'll take her own advice. Right, nothing to see here. Just a couple dead machines. Come on, let's get out of here. Suckers. Plus, I feel like since Luther isn't with us, a big giant robot, we're just two young ish looking androids. I feel like that'll give us a little bit of hope to escape without them sitting here just trying to shoot us just to make sure. We gotta go. Luther, on the other hand, he's built like a tank. And I feel like if he did get up and start attacking people, they would definitely be scared. But is he going to be dead inside the ship? I wonder. Yeah, that's not going to work out. Missed that one? Alright, so hold on. I wonder how many of these you can actually fail without dying. Surely there's going to be a couple scenes where you actually get shot if you don't do it correctly. Alright, so we at least knocked him down in that one. We've gotten so lucky on the QTEs, we fail a couple every now and then, but it seems like the ones that we fail don't actually get us killed just quite yet. But I like how forgiving it is. Marcus. Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Man, I feel like we got the majority of the group here, so we're good to go. Now I'm wondering if we see the side room that Luther's in, would he be able to save him? Surely he's on a different deck though, so I don't think so. Too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. I mean, we did abandon you, but we got to save her. Here we go. We got Captain America's shield. Toss it to her. Yes. Go you know, here, beat up a few of them. There we go. Over there. Run. Go. Whoa, 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 you got the shield, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> That's that one. Oh, feel bad for Connor. I always accidentally get him shot a couple times. I mean, at least we got the rest of the group dead, though. But well, he's not dead yet, so we're good. Just a little bit of blue blood. We are going to need to get healed up and patched, but we'll be fine. I think. I don't see Connor in the list, though. They detonated an explosive in the hold. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's an over, Marcus. I mean, I feel like that had to be one of the better routes, right? Dude, what is this? Do we have, like, multiple different branching paths since all the characters met? There we go. So this one's going to be from Marcus. We are going to look through this because I'm really curious to see, did Luther actually die? Sometimes it'll at least give you a little bit of facts inside of this little breakdown to see. Looks like majority of us did escape, though. Only 55 people managed to jump with Simon, so he's usually dead at this point. That's interesting. 
We did kill some of the soldiers. I mean, they sort of started the fight. It wasn't like we were trying to kill them. <laughs> I feel like we did get quite a bit of our androids killed, which, once again, we are the most viable one that has to survive in order to keep the cause alive. So, unfortunately, some of them had to do that in order for it to work out best for us. Now, could we have intervened more often? There's a possibility that... Some of them might have tracked us down much quicker and gave us a lot harder time. Maybe some QTEs we would have failed, Marcus would have died, and it would have been a totally different story. Only 15% let the androids die. Huh. 92% Marcus in the corridor. Alright, so we were kind of in the middle ground here. Only 92% met Lucy. I wonder how some of these people don't do this. So it must have been a different route we could have taken instead of going with the corridor. Maybe if some of the characters were not actually alive at this point, you'd be going a different route. All right, so we can't see anything else. These are just the different branching paths. I'm guessing if Connor wasn't actually there to warn Marcus, it would have been down a little bit different. Let's see here. Connor's path. We know that he sort of found Jericho on his own. Only 21% spotted Alice. We were stopped by Lucy, though. So I don't think that we actually threatened Marcus, really. We did confront him. 80% became a deviant. And we got this very long branching path down here. It looks like we missed a whole bunch of stuff with Connor. I'm guessing the rest of that's going to be if you're not a deviant. Connor joins the others. We helped Marcus 68%. Looks like we did a pretty big path with Connor there. Now, Kara, she's the one that we're really curious about because that would tell us if Luther dies or not. I feel like he has to be alive. He's probably going to have to swim away from the ship, but I don't think he would blow up in the room that he's in. Because I mean, it looked like it was a blast door. Luther is shot. All right, so this is in the hallway before he actually was running through. So that's... He's still alive at that point. Yeah, because we helped Luther. We got him to safety. We left him hidden. I don't think there was a way to do that without that, though. There wasn't a way to pick him up. 91% fleas. Okay, so... 60% played dead. 64% chose to remain still. And only 77% were managed to leave Jericho. October 10th, 2038, 4.17pm. Heartful, mournful, regretful, reflective. Oh, Carl. I just wanted us to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.